for BYU, but this, with six seconds remaining, in all probability, will be the last opportunity. And Utah State would love to get in the end zone, and BYU would love to keep them out on this play. Cougar defense already given up 14 points tonight, and that's 14 more than in the last two games combined. Here comes the pressure, and Burrell is going to be brought down on the last play, the sack. And the clock is showing double zeros, or triple as the case may be. And that's going to do it. The final score tonight is 34 to 14 as BYU ranks seventh in the country, has defended their unbeaten record, but they have been scored upon. And for Utah State's coach Brent Guy and Bronco Mendenhall, some positives and some things to go back to the drawing board for next week. But the 78th meeting between the Aggies and the Cougars is now in the books, Mike. Well, it is, and it's respectable, too. You know, you look at what happened with Brent Guy and the last time we were here, and and everything that, that's going on in the program with Brent Guy trying to get the excitement going. Tonight there was excitement in the, in the stands. You had a team that finished on the football field that made too many mistakes, and it's probably going to be a what-if situation. Hey, if we didn't have those turnovers, the four turnovers, you know, could we have stood with them a little bit more? And, and for BYU, kind of the, you know, the inevitability of we're the best and we're uh, undefeated and unscored upon and all these things like that, they've got some work to do coming back in their next game. You might have seen Matt Bauman a few minutes ago. Uh, coming off the shot of him where he came up a little bit lame on that last play. But BYU with the win tonight. Utah State still has the edge in Logan, believe it or not, over the years. 18-15-2 is the record. But uh, BYU with the win tonight. They got out to the early lead, and the Aggies were able to punch it into the end zone a couple of times in the second half for their 14 points. But Max Hall and company able to get the job done. A nice night offensively for them. And for both teams, an opportunity to look at some positives. If you're Brent Guy, you know, you won last uh, two weeks ago. You put 42 on the board. Your offense put 14 on the board. And I really shot themselves in the foot with turnovers tonight. But uh, all in all, not a bad effort. Well, it really wasn't. And again, they, they played. And, and BYU did the things. They, they took advantage of the turnovers in the first half. They had 17 points off three turnovers. They turned it over once but held Utah State. And, and so it's a situation where both these teams are going to look at this saying, and obviously BYU stays undefeated. They're going to stay top ranked. And, and Utah State says, you know, we got to go back and, and continue to play from start to finish the way that we did tonight. Eliminate the turnovers, and we'll have an opportunity to be successful in the WAC conference. Did I